Blog Talk Radio. This type of faith. You remember Jesus when he told his disciples, he said, listen, if your faith was as small as a mustard seed, he said, you could speak to the mountain and the mountain would be removed. Now, I I want you to get this principle. He's pressing down his faith. God's not going to press down your faith. God's going to press down his faith in you. This is so important. You see, because most people think faith is getting up on a Sunday morning, going to church. Mm -hmm. See, the scripture says, forsake not to assemble yourself. That's an assembly. Don't forsake to fellowship with other believers. But what has happened in our society for many years, people start putting their faith in man instead of God. Hear this now. See, without God's faith, the scripture says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. God's faith is the only faith that God will accept. Mm -hmm. God has his own faith. He's given every man a what? Measure of faith. God is so liberal with his faith just as liberal as he is with his wisdom. We are without excuse. So what is raw faith? Raw faith is God's faith in your present situation. I don't care if you were born in poverty. God has given you a measure of faith to get out of poverty. I don't care if you was born in wealth and riches. God's given you a measure of faith so that you would use that wealth to be a blessing to those that don't have. Blessed are those who are poor in spirit. See, God, there are a lot of people who are poor in spirit. And God has a lot of comfort for people who are poor in, in spirit. So we have to understand why Jesus was so animate. He was so firm with his own disciples when he said to them, he said, listen, you're looking at how much faith. Lord, increase our faith. See, religion will always keep you in a position. And so people have been kidnapped by materialism. And there's a mindset that says, you got to get this. You got to get that. Ooh, we got another TV for you. Ooh, we got another dress for you. Ooh, ladies, we got another diamond our girl, girl. Best, best, best friend. friend. <laughs> In order for me to be accepted, I must bling bling to bling in. I must have this car. I must have these types of clothes. I must have them. So instead of seeking the kingdom of God first, we go to seeking the kingdom of man. Come on in here. Most folk, most people think they are seeking God in religion. Religion will always make you think you have to do something to get something. You got to be faithful. Where do you work in the church? You, you, you must be faithful to your post. What's your position? I'm a choir director. Well, you, well, you must, must be faithful to your post in order for you to please God. What's, what's your position? I said, us. Come on in here. You walk into some of these places. Listen, it's pitiful. Don't smile. Look at your funny. See, it's so much unbalance and things that are out of place. But God told me to do this, and I'm going to do it. If you're going to walk by faith that's going to bring you results, it will be raw faith. If it's not raw faith, if it's not God's faith, you're going to work until you are so spiritually tired, until you're going to just simply give up on yourself, on your family of God. You're going to give up on your life because it's going to take God's faith to give you a God miracle. People that are hurting, they want an answer. Alberta Love It is simply just witnessing, telling people about what God is doing on the Roderick Owensby show. This is not yes. our doing, my queen. To walk by faith, this thing is real. Now, this is the operation of every Christian to live and walk by faith. Yes. Jesus is joy, 
and with joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. How do we walk day to day with the joy of the Lord? Mm. So this faith walk and this message is so needful, so powerful, and I believe it's going to give to the people of God that fire. That's what I feel this word is doing. It's taking us back to when we first believed, taking us back to that fire that's going to ignite the people into moving, into walking by faith, living by faith, and being happy about it. That's when we can receive what Christ has given to us. My because he's goodness. already given it to us. Yes. People are just not receiving it because it's not happily received. There you go, baby. And we know as a couple how God has and is blessing us. Love Talk Radio. 